In NBA today, all that matters is your legacy and how you compare with the greats of all time. How you compare with players such as Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. And there's one player who's been underrated throughout his whole career and mostly right now. His name is Dirk Nowitzki. If we take the eye test and compare him to many other great players such as Karl Malone, Kevin Garnett, he should be up there. Let's take a deeper look into it and see where Dirk really belongs to be ranked. What up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another banger and let's get into the video. Let's start off with achievements, which I feel like is the basis for your legacy. What you have done determines how good you should be ranked. He has been an MVP one time in his career, which many players haven't even done before. And then he also got top 3 voted 2 other times, so like, it wasn't like he was just a 1 year wonder, he was consistently at the top multiple times was in the race up until the top 10. He also ended up making 12 all NBA teams, and was ranked 6 all time in all NBA teams made, and made 4 first teams, 5 second teams, and 3 third teams. So it's not like he's just a couple years good here, a couple years good there. He's made it good through 12 whole seasons, and that's impressive, on top of that, only 5 other players have made more all NBA teams than he has. Next he's made 13 all star games, which is quite a bit. It ended up having him right tied 10th all time for the most all star games appeared at, which is quite impressive meaning only about 9 other guys have done it more than he has. So people were throwing him in the 30s or 40s in ranking, that's like invalid because not only is he in his league for a long time, he's been doing it at a high level and last but not least he's an efficient player while on the court. He's made the 50-40-90 club in 2007 and barely missed it twice in his career. And the 50-40-90 club is special because only 6 other guys have done it and he's one of 7 in total who have done it. He's the only small forward and non-guard that's on the list so basically he's the only big man. The 50-40-90 club is impressive because it means you made 50% of your field goals from the field, 40% of your 3 pointers and 90% of your free throws. That's all his achievements in America, but like he has a lot more in Europe, but we're not going to throw those in here because we're comparing NBA legacies and not Euro League legacies. Let's compare this by eye test now. Dirk Nowitzki was a 7 foot power forward out of Germany. He had many impacts on the game. First thing, he made the idea popular of taking a player from Europe and drafting them. Before that, it was foreign to the idea of picking a player from Europe, especially since there's a risk that they don't know how they played against players and they're not from the NCAA. This led to players like Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis being picked in the draft and it turns out they ended up being good too, or well, at least Kristaps did. Now let's look at also the impact he had on the game, the actual court. He was a 7 foot power forward but he didn't play in the post and get blocks and get boards and all that. He played more of a let me get out on the perimeter, let me get some shots, let me create my own shot and use my athletic mobility to get the game open. I feel like we can attribute the idea of now power forwards that come out the perimeter and shoot to him. Stretch fours and big men who can shoot. I, I say he's the earliest player to do that because maybe other than Kevin Garnett, I don't remember anyone doing it before him at the same way he was doing that. So we could say he's the founder of that. So not only did he revolutionize the drafting process, but he also revolutionized how the roles of power forward should be on the court. One of the most important things for debate in this is how many rings you win. Rings are so important now that Kevin Durant went to Golden State, DeMarcus went to Golden State, and Chris Paul came over to Houston to try and win rings. Now, let's look at how he won his ring. Not only did he win a ring, something Karl Malone couldn't do and Kevin Garnett had to go join a super team to go do, he won a ring with against one of the hardest teams of all time I have to say. He had to play against LeBron, Dwayne Wade who was in his prime at that time, not the wash of Dwayne Wade of 2014. Chris Bosh who just came off his Raptors so he was at a good point in his career too. He beat them three, the big three Heat. So if we're going to throw the context into this, we have to throw it in there because Kevin Garnett, he, yeah he beat the Lakers but when the Lakers had matched to the big three Celtics, he had a Ray Allen on his team and Paul Pierce and look at Karl Malone, yeah he did play Jordan in the finals twice and he couldn't get over him but look at it like this, he couldn't do it whatsoever and if we're going to say he went to the finals twice, you can also say Dirk went to the finals twice and Dirk had to beat teams such as the Spurs and the Lakers to get to the finals. And I remember in 2011, the road that Dirk had to get to the finals was incredibly hard. He had to beat the Lakers, and not only did he beat the Lakers, he beat them in four games, and they were the last team to win a championship. They were the 2010 NBA champions, so not only did they dethrone them, they dethroned them in four games. And then on top of that, they had to beat the Thunder. The Thunder who had Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and here yeah, they might have been young, but it was early. Next year, that team went on to go win the, to the NBA finals. On top of his 2011 ring being very impressive and his path to get there very hard, his 2006 chance was very very close. If it wasn't for the refs, he might have won the series and if we look back at it, the amount of free throws that he took in games 3-6 through six was probably staggering so we never know what that type of stuff. 
but we'll carry on because he did lose we'll say he lost and you know even with the loss his 2011 ring is very impressive 2006 he was darn close and he's always had great runs in the playoffs so i definitely think his ring debate it should be a lot higher up there than it is right now Dirk's stats are one of the things that make him one of the best players of all time he's six all-time in scoring with 31,187 points He's one of seven players all time to have over 30,000 points in their career. He's one of two active with the only other one being LeBron James. He's 27th in rebounds all time having 11,332 rebounds. He's third all time in minutes having 50,573 minutes and being one of six players over the 50k mark. He's also the only active player to be above 50,000 minutes. He's 11th in all time threes made with 1,918 and is the highest big man on the list. He's 8th in field goals made all time with 11,034 and is one of two players all time with 11,000 field goals or more made. He had a career average of 21.2 points per game and 7.7 rebounds per game and this is impressive because he's been on the decline recently so this has taken an adjustment for those stats. This proves two things, that he has been aging well meaning he hasn't been going down to 5 points per game or he's essentially still been useful to his team and that at the height of his career his numbers are so high with him on the decline now it can average it out. One of the last things that makes Dirk special is he's played 21 seasons in the NBA. That proves how long he's been able to play, and most of those seasons have been at a high level with him scoring over 10 points per game still at this point in his career. So, he's playing at a high level, but one thing that also marks him out is his loyalty. With a lot of players switching teams this day, he's been with the same team for 21 years, breaking the record for the longest streak of how long someone's been with one team. In conclusion, I feel like Dirk Nowitzki is a highly underrated player. I feel like he should at least be ranked top 15 and not the top 30 or top 40 that a lot of other people put him at. I hope this changes everyone's mind moving forward. And thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications when I post. And I'm out.